Alright, get the snickering out of the way. The title Booby Kids refers to booby traps, not waiting birds. The game was developed simultaneously with the arcade game Booby Boy. Again, traps, not birds. But Booby Kids got the Famicom treatment of reworking the game heavily. And fans of Booby Boy would have to wait a few years until it was, uh, turned into a Doraemon game. The game was designed by Shigeki Fujiwara, and he designed it as a response to Hudson's Bomberman. Hudson must have liked it because a few years later they hired him and had him make a sequel to Bomberman. And that's the game that defines what the Bomberman series would be. It's also worth pointing out that the character design for this game was by Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama. In Japan, the game is mostly forgotten. Though I did find a few people defending it against being called a bad game. Booby Kid stays pretty close to its arcade roots. Your goal on every stage is to collect all of the items that are scattered around, and then get to the exit door. Monsters will spawn in off these panels, and you can stop them by digging holes when you press the B button. If they fall in a hole, you can fill it back in by pressing B again, and with some monsters that might net you a power-up. It's really easy to draw parallels here between Booby Kids and Heiankyo Alien, though Fujiwara claims that he was completely unfamiliar with the game when he created Booby Boy. Generally speaking, digging holes to trap monsters is actually a losing strategy. The spots where you bury the monsters have a little mound left behind, and you can't dig in those places anymore. On some stages where you have very limited working area, you could easily run out of room to trap monsters in. But there's another trick. If you leave the monsters alone for a few seconds, eventually they'll escape on their own. And they leave the dirt normal afterwards. So you could set up areas where the monsters are trapped, falling in the holes over and over again as they come after you. There are four power-ups to watch out for when you defeat an enemy. This tablet turns all of the monsters into tablets for about 30 seconds. And those tablets can be kicked around the stage. They'll smash when they hit the wall, and they'll smash through other tablets. The helmet makes you invincible, and that's about as straightforward as they come. The shoes make you run faster. Your default walking speed in Booby Kids is pretty slow, so this is a good pickup even if it's not the most useful one. Finally, the egg freezes all the enemies in place. One thing about the egg in the tablet is after you destroy an enemy, they'll still respawn immediately even though they won't be able to move. So plan accordingly. On some stages you'll need to use these springs. They launch you four squares away, and you have a short period where you can choose what direction you want to go when you're on top of them. Sometimes the springs are one-way trips though, so make sure you've collected all the pickups you can before you use it. On some stages you need to flip an underground switch by digging it. They're right where the bridge will appear, so keep that in mind. The other big booby trap in the game are bombs. You always start with zero bombs, and you have to find a spot on the stage where the bomb indicator starts blinking. Every time it ticks, you get one bomb. And you can carry up to nine at once. After that, you can drop a bomb by pressing A, and it'll go up in a Bomberman-style explosion. Not all of the places you can bomb through are clearly marked, so keep that in mind while you're searching. Also, the items that you're collecting can be hidden beneath bombable objects. You'll also encounter passages through solid-looking objects. You can enter these, but enemies cannot. Every four stages, you go to a bonus stage where you can dig up panels. And this bonus stage is the biggest single problem with Booby Kids. The stage doesn't end until you dig up one of two monsters. Warp or no warp. If you get warp, you get to continue the game. If you get no warp, you get to redo the previous stage. And that's the other big issue with Booby Kids. The stages are huge, you're fragile, and any contact with anything that could harm you means you have to start over again. You don't have to progress very far in the game to find stages that will take you about five minutes to play through. And if you bump into an enemy, fall into your own hole, accidentally take one step too far, then you have to redo the whole thing from the beginning. The third time that you die four minutes into a stage, you're going to be pretty sick of it. I'm of two minds with Booby Kids. Those flaws are pretty big flaws. I wouldn't blame anybody for rejecting the game due to how long it can take to beat a level. 
and how it can just make you repeat a level forever if it doesn't like you. On the other hand, I really like how it plays. It took its basic arcade concept and it opened it up. And I was having fun with it when I wasn't repeating a stage over and over again. So I guess it comes down to would I play it again? And yeah, I would play Booby Kids again. No guarantee that I wouldn't become frustrated and quit before level 10 though.